Hi, so you understand the three stages of learn and excel process that you need to apply in order to ace the GMAT. Now what I want to tell you is give you a visual idea about how does your ability increase or change when you move from one stage to another to another. Okay, that's what I'm going to explain to you. Now, when you finish stage one, you are anywhere between 50 and 60 percentile ability. Okay, you can start this at any level. I mean, you, you, you may be at a 20 percentile or even a 10 percentile level when you begin stage one, but by the time you finish stage one, you are at least between 50 and 60 percentile and that at least okay so you are more than or equal to 50 to 60 percentile okay now now when you do cementing of your methods in stage two remember what is it that you're doing you're first building your proficiency on medium questions okay and then you're building your proficiency in solving hard questions now when you build your proficiency to solve medium questions the system actually tells, make sure that you get to a 60 percentile ability. Okay, your ability increases from, from 50 percentile to 60 percentile or you have at least 60 percentile ability once you prove, once you do cementing with medium questions. That is once you're able to get to that uh, greater than 70 percent accuracy in medium questions. Okay, when you do the same for hard questions, you are able to go beyond 70 percentile okay when you are able to solve 70 per, uh, sorry 50 percent of qu hard questions correctly that means you are at a um, at, at at least 70 percentile ability now as your ability to answer these hard questions increases let's say if your hard if, if, if your ability to answer hard questions goes to uh, goes to a point where you can now answer 60 percent of hard questions correctly right then your ability also increases let's say it, it, it gets to 75 percentile likewise if you are able to consistently answer 70 percent of hard questions correctly then that means your ability is anywhere from 80 to 85 percentile okay so as so so again the point being that as you increase your accuracy of hard questions your ability increases okay so accuracy of hard questions increases hard goes up your ability goes up okay so that's what is happening in um, in the stage in, in stage two so for on that subsection level you are really working in stage two and you're making sure that you get to that high your target ability here okay now what's happening in stage three is really your test readiness frankly nothing more to add here right so that's why you are ready for this stage only when you have really gotten within i would say plus or minus five percentile points of your target ability in each subsection okay only then there is a point to actually do test readiness otherwise I would say spend more time on stage two okay so this should give you a good idea about how does your ability increase or change from what as you progress from one stage to another and if your ability is not improving then that's an indication that you are not really executing that stage in the right manner okay so definitely keep this thing in mind as to how the ability moves or change uh, gets better as you move from one stage to another okay